he struggled a little bit in a couple of SEC relief appearances. Let's see if getting the start, 90, 91, occasional 92 or earlier in the season, he was throwing a ball a lot more 93 to 95. And the pitch to Bird, swing and a miss. Anderson has cranked a couple of pretty good fastballs with two strike counts. And that pitch fooled him. It tied up Olison. He never really was able to extend his arms. Going to it a while, huh? Yep. Well, Anderson has fanned four now. They've had injuries that they've overcome. They've got three players back in the last week. There's another punch out. That's now eight outs, eight via the strikeout for both teams. Anderson working quickly, and that one takes the feet out from under. This is chopped toward the hole. Braswell comes up with it, but there is no play anywhere, even though he flipped it over to Napol trying to get the force at second. This ball is hit very, very hard and very, very long. It is a three-run home run. Wow. Hawkins at the top of the order has just drilled one for the Jaguars who take a 3-0 lead over the defending national champions. And that two-out walk after a pair of strikeouts. Swing and a miss. And what I mean by that is, Ronnie, how often do you have a guy? And a four-pitch pass, so the Tigers. Harris delivers. Chopped up the middle off the pitcher's glove. Fumbled by the second baseman. Everybody is safe. That is launched deep to right field. Radcliffe has room in front of the warning track. He's got it. The runner at third tags up easily and moves forward. So does Neal from second to third. The bunt is down. This is going to score a run. The out recorded at first base as Harris picks up the bunt and gets it over to Sandifer. The pitch coming. Lifted into left field. It's playable. Cameron Bird moves to his right, comes in a few steps, and takes it. And that's banged up the middle. A base hit by Hawkins. He's two for three at the top of the order. The runner on first is moving, and the throw. Runner is on his way to third as the ball eludes Malazzo. Runner on first is on the move. Malazzo bluffs the throw. The one-two pitch coming from the tall left-hander. Got him swinging on the breaking ball. And the Tigers will put him aboard intentionally to set up a force on any base. He bangs this one deep to left center field. This ball is up, 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 off the top of the wall. The Jaguars trying to extend their lead, and they do it. A wall-banging double by Olison. The answer, LSU's two spot in the bottom of the fourth. And this ball is driven deep to left field. Up, 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 and away. A two-run home run for Donnie Sandifer following the double by Olson, which counted for three, and this Southern bench is jubilant. As they should be. How about Donnie Sandifer? The Lake Charles product gets a breaking ball and runs it out to left field, and no doubter. This is the second home run for Southern tonight that they have cleared the bleachers. Tommy White chops it to the shortstop. He'll have to make a long, strong throw, and he air mails it. <laughs> it's a base hit, but that's kind of a cheap one. Now, that's a base hit. Well, that one went right under the glove <laughs> of White. It was stung by Larson. The 1-0. Hit a long way to center field. Hawkins is back, drifting, drifting. Now he locates it, comes toward back toward the infield a couple of steps and makes the catch. That ball was driven about 385 feet. Here we go at 2-2. Jammed him. Shortstop's got it, lobs it over to first base for the out. The run scores. 
A rocket deep to left center field. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Brady Neal smashes one into deep left center field, his fourth home run of the season, and the Tigers come barreling back. Malazzo is shadowing the Jaguar hitter. How about Hawkins tonight? He's had a heck of a day at the top of the order, hasn't he? A big home run, the former Louisville Cardinal. Not going this time, and a hot shot eats up the shortstop Braswell. That one got down on the dirt. On the short hop, it was well struck. Braswell runs it down in left center field, but Hawkins scoots all the way to third. Bird has a big lead at first. There he goes. And Malazzo will allow the runner to take second without a play. That's nubbed off the cap of the bat. Braswell fell down and then cannot make the play. His feet came out from under him. He tried to regain his balance. That ball was spinning in front of him, and he never did corral it cleanly. The 0-2 to Mack. Runner at first is moving, and Mack drives it out to center field. Bingham's got room and time, and he squeezes it for the out to allow Tommy White to come to the plate with nobody on base. He did not swing on the home run by Neal. And that got him. Oh, wow. I didn't so think it LSU did. hit by a pitch. One or two in the whatever conference that he coaches as far as hit by pitches go. And that one gets loose, and the runners advance. The pitch in the dirt. It scoots by. LSU gets the run as Tommy White dashes in from third. Another wild pitch on ball four. I think they were crossed up. He hits it off the cap of the bat and is thrown out by the second baseman, Mack. 24 mile an hour pitches. That's chopped over his head and it will make short center field. It's grabbed by Josh Pearson on a heck of a play on the backhand side. A chop to the new shortstop. Milam to second, the relay throw. Caught on a bounce for the double play. And a base hit by Cameron Bird. He's been on base three consecutive times. Jones stabs it at first base, steps on the... Antoine Harris out of high school as he plunks Bingham right there. That's big for LSU. Harris to White. A smash to left. That's through on the left side. Tommy White has his second hit. He's also walked a couple of times. Fry hits one deep to left field, and it is to the wall and caught. Cameron Bird backed up to the wall and made the grab. The runner at second base has moved to third. Jones is the team leader in home runs. He sends it very high in the air to deep center field. Hawkins is backing up. He's on the warning track. He makes the catch in straightaway center field, almost 400 feet from the plate. It is plenty deep enough to plate Bingham. It's high. The inning continues. A chop to the right side. Max got it. Makes the throw to first base, and the Tigers leave two base runners aboard. Their fourth win could potentially come against four different LSU coaches. And here's a liner to right field. It's down in front of Larson. That hit him. Here we go. Runners moving. The bases are loaded as Hurd misses. That is right through the shortstop, and it rolls into left field, and Southern has added to its lead. White hits the chop to the right side, the throw to the plate for one, the relay back to oh first, my. gets by. Jones appeared to be shielded. The Jaguars are running all over the infield, and they are scoring at will. Milam charging and getting the man at first base. Only 174 against left-handed pitching. 
as a left-handed batter against right-handed pitching. Second at bat, he came into the ball game a couple of innings ago. He struck out last time. He lifts this one to left field. Cameron Bird backing up, backing up, leaping. Did he, he did not get it. No, the that, umpire at third well. base is saying no. The umpire at third base is saying no. That was not a catch. Because if the if the umpire at second base, now watch. It looks like the ball bounces off the wall. If the ball hits the wall, you can't be a catch. He traps. He trap. Did he trap it against the wall? If the ball ball hits the wall, Burkett with a runner moving, swing and a miss. Brown goes down on strikes. And the pitch lined out to right field. This game is over. The Southern Jaguars for the fourth time in history. The SWAC Southern Jaguars have defeated the SEC LSU Tigers.